Football fans, it's another great day simply because we beat Bama again in some sport. Don't matter if it's Tiddlywinks, <laughs> but uh, we went down to Tuscaloosa, Holman Coliseum, Bob, and uh, I don't know how, but we beat them. Did not play good, Tim, but like you said, man, any game where you beat Alabama, uh, it's it's a uh, it's a win for the good good. It's a good versus evil, uh, you know. It's uh, well, you saw that fan there that had the hat that said, I hate Tennessee, yeah, and it, it gives me some joy knowing that uh, those people left out there a little sad. I mean, put a smile on my face, it's, it's Bama, I hate them, yeah, but anyway. But I totally understand that because I have a Bama, uh, hat that said the same thing about Bama shirt, yeah, underwear, yeah, socks, <laughs> exactly. Um, but yeah, to your point that you were saying, um. You know, if you went into that game, Tim told me that Adu would have two quick fouls about four minutes going uh, to early in the first quarter. A walker comes straight in, get two fouls. Connect has a bad game, really had a bad game. And no other player just simply lit it up. Right. And, no, and, no one else exploded with 30. Right. I mean, you, I would have thought somebody would have had to go off. I mean, just the Scovy or a Ganey or um, I mean, uh, Sky had a good game, but he didn't just go off. Uh, somebody, I thought a couple of those guys would have had to go off to him, and they didn't. And we still somehow won the game on the road. And, you know, that's impressive. Well, it is. I mean, Alabama's got a, maybe the best offense in the country as far mm -hmm. as that goes. If they don't, Kentucky does. And uh, I think the last six or seven games, we've held Alabama to 74 points or less. So this is a program win. This is a mm -hmm. uh, just a gut check by these players. You had uh, Josiah James, man, who just uh, – he was forced to, to be their big guy. Yeah. And he responded with 13 rebounds. Yeah, he had a, he had a good game, and Ziegler had a big game. Yeah, uh, 18, I believe it was. Yeah, and uh, Mayshack. Didn't score a whole lot, but man, I tell you what, he, he made some plays down the stretch. He made some plays down the stretch, man. And I tell you somebody else I got to mention too, uh, Vescovy, man. He, he he had some just beautiful steals there and for a while. It seemed like every trip down, he was just picking somebody's man, pocket. I reckon he was a pest, man, and, uh, for them. Uh, but you know, program, like I said, it's a program win. Everybody chipped in because we had issues. It, it gives me a lot of hope. Uh, for the tournament, knowing that Connect had a bad game, we just didn't shoot good for the game, and we was not home, and still won. Yeah. You know that that, that gives me some chance, some hope that we can, and some belief that we can have a big run in this tournament. We've had several good teams that got out of the tournament because they had those games where mm -hmm. they didn't shoot well, or one of their key guys did not have a good game. Right. We went to the house. Yeah. They could have easily did the same thing last night, but they didn't. They fought through it. Tip, I got to tip a hat to them. I mean, that, that was yeah. a, an effort. Like Especially that. at the end of the first half and the beginning of the second half. Man, that, that they was a had bad a stretch. 17 to one run, Bob. I mean, on the road, you, you're going to lose those type of games, man. I just don't see how we won that one. 17 to one run. Yeah. That's uh, yeah, incredible uh, gut check by the guys. Uh, they're going to have another opportunity coming up. We got South Carolina, who, yeah, I mean, honestly, is there any doubt who the player uh, coach of the year is? Oh no, their coach, uh, it, he's got that locked up. I mean, they was picked like fourteenth in the conf conference preseason, and here they are. Um, you know, midweek game, they're fighting for a share of the conference. Yeah, they are. You know, everybody's made a big deal about. It. We can clinch a share of the title this week or this game, but they're pretty much in the same spot. Yeah, they beat us. They're tied with us with one game to go, and right. um, they have they've beaten us twice. They've swept yeah. us if they win. So uh, the the job he's done down there without the uh, Dalton Connect coming in and just turning, you know, being all American. Right. It, it's been a very balanced throughout their team and. Uh, and everybody's talking about that one three one zone he put on Florida just to shut that mm -hmm. game down. But 
he's got a little bit out of everybody on his team, it seems like, like you was about to say. Uh, yeah. Talk about a balanced effort, Bob. Um, you've got five guys who are scoring nine points or more. Yeah. No one more than 14. Yeah, that's and, uh, that's team. It is. Team it's, right it goes right back to rebounds, too. You don't have a guy. You've got one guy at five, a little less than five and a half rebounds. Mm-hmm. So they don't have a dominant rebounder. But yet you see this guy 4'3", another guy 4'7", another guy 4'3", another guy 3-something. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, th- that's team ball. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's a big game. Then you have uh, Saturday you got Kentucky coming uh, to Knoxville. Um, another game. That Senior day. Hope we win there. Yeah, I don't want to get into a lot of the, you know, NCAA stuff, but um, – we are fighting for a number one seed, and uh, you know if we keep winning, which is a big if, because that's we got some tough games coming up. Uh, I think we got a legitimate ch- shot, if not the favorite, for a number one seed. Well, we 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 do. Uh, we've got a lot of quad one opportunities here at the end mm-hmm. of the season, and I know Arizona's built a resume up as well. Mm-hmm. But I think if you honestly, I'm looking at their their wins, their losses. I don't think it matches up to her. And no, the other yeah, playing in that Pac-10, yeah. they're just oh, horrible, yeah. horrible uh, league. That, yeah. Um, and we're playing in r- really what the best league in the country this year, I believe. Really are, I think, yeah. I mean, I mean Big 12 may have an there. issue but with it. but um, And, you know, even if we don't, as long as we don't just collapse, mm-hmm. we're probably not going to fall out of number two seed. And I think, honestly, yeah. it might be better for us. Possibly. Depending on how they're. I mean, you know, the seedings work. You out. never know. Yeah. I'm not going to get it all uh, worked up over it just yet. No, we got no. some more games, to, several more games to play before we really get dive into that too much. But main thing is beat South Carolina midweek, beat Kentucky next Saturday. And uh, then it's all on the table for you. Yeah. Speaking of table, it's about lunchtime. So, ball fans, um, see you guys probably Thursday when we talk about how we beat the crap out of the Gamecocks. Yep. Uh, Well, uh, go Vols.